Hi, Creative Arts Media students. This is Isla here. Um, I wanted to get us going on our next assignment, and I've been trying to make sure I choose things that are dealing with stuff that you might have at home. So the medium for our next assignments is either an extra fine tip Sharpie, a micron, um, a black ballpoint pen, whatever you have along those lines lying around is what you're going to be using. We're going to be focusing on uh, stipple, crosshatch line designs, our basic pen uh, techniques to do our next piece. And if you looked at Google Stream, I uploaded an example of what it's going to look like. Um, Julia Foster was the artist that I showed you. She was a former Lenape student. And you can see that it's technically a portrait, but instead of doing it in basic portrait fashion, we're going to mix it up. So I call them mixed match portraits. And you get to have, have some fun with the composition based off of the fact that you're going to take a portrait, you're going to be cutting it up, and you're going to be rearranging it how you see fit in terms of making a balanced and interesting piece. Our inspiration comes from artist Chuck Close, who we're going to be taking a closer look at. Um, he's a fantastic, he's currently working um, artist that does photorealistic drawings, and some of his work deals with grid-like fashions, so he doesn't necessarily mix up his portraits, but he does work block by block. And he treats each block that he works on as its own individual composition. And we're going to kind of pool that thinking into our artwork um, with our piece. And that's where we're kind of gathering our inspiration from. And once I show you some of his work, you'll see why. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little heads up in terms of the medium that we're using. In addition to your pens, your Sharpies, and things like that, we're going to be working um, no bigger than 11 by 14. So that's your sketchbook size. Um, if you only have computer paper that you're working with, then you'll have to make sure that your smaller reference image multiplied by two goes up to the size of your computer paper. In addition to, to that, that, you'll have a pencil, you're going to need a ruler, um, you're going to need tape or glue, um, and then you're also going to need some portraits that you're going to be working with. So you can print out some black and white portraits, or if you're like me, where I actually don't have a printer and I wanted to make an example, I actually use portraits from a magazine, which worked as well. And I actually, when I, and I'll show you on a video, but um, I took a picture of them once I kind of compiled the composition and then I took the picture and put it into black and white. So I had my black and white references. Um, all right, guys. So I just wanted to give you a little heads up and I'll be uploading the how-to video shortly.